Hi, this is Rich Formidoni from Casio. We're here at Summer NAM at the Casio booth, and I am with my good friends from Synthtopia. And I have a little something special for you guys. This is the uh, Privia PX560. It's a brand new digital piano from Casio, and it takes some of the best technology from the PX5S. As you may know, that's Casio's flagship digital piano uh, that also has hex layer capability to create really cool sounds, including synth sounds. This adds a color touch interface, which lets you do some really, really cool things and gives you some visual options to play with the sounds. And it's really good for sound design. So let's check it out. All right, so here we are looking at the front panel of the PX560. There are three real-time control knobs that you can assign to do whatever you want. There's also pitch bend and modulation wheels over here, but I wanted to show you some things on the screen. So I've just created a brand new hex layer and I called it New Synth. So now when I hit edit, edit again, and then edit layer, now I'm looking at all six of the layers inside a hex, uh, a hex layer. So I've got this first one turned on, and it's a sawtooth wave. As you look near the end of the list of waveforms, there's a ton of different waveforms to choose from. Different sawtooths, different waves, uh, different pulses, white noise. So there's lots of different places to go, triangle, sign, all that good stuff. So I just chose the first sawtooth, and then we'll go back here. And then here's what you can do. You can set the key range low to high. So I just set this entire keyboard to be the, the whole range for this one sawtooth. You can also do velocity ranges. So if I want to hit harder and suddenly trigger a square wave, I could do that. Then we get into the fun stuff. So pitch, filter, and amp. I'm going to go to amp, and then I'm going to go to envelope. Check that out. This is exactly what you want to see when you're editing an envelope. So I'm going to adjust the attack time, and then drop the initial level. So now we've got a nice long attack. Shorten it a little bit, and then we're going to drop the release level, or sorry, the uh, release time, raise the release time, excuse me, and then raise the release level. So check this out. So now we've just turned this into a pad sound. Now, if I press menu and swipe over to my controllers, here's where I can edit what the knobs, the modulation wheel, and the pedals do. So knob number one, I've got it set to cutoff. I could set number two to resonance. I could set number three to any number of DSP effects. And I've got the mod wheel that I can assign as well. So there's lots of different places to go. So if you're doing sound design and you want a digital piano that can do all this kind of stuff, the 560 is an awesome choice. So the PX560 will be available in October for a price of $11.99. So check out CasioMusicGear.com for more information, but only if you're absolutely sure you're done reading Synthtopia. Thanks for watching.